Hi, this is a 3D print I have made for the Vargo 221 inline splice connector. And it's a box that's very compact, which can split the connection. Just look at how compact it is. And if we look inside, then we see them here. In this design, I'm cheating a little because I'm actually connecting two wires into the same hole. Uh, which you can do if it's stranded wires, but you can definitely not do it if you use solid wires. And there's of course a limit also on how much you can put into a single hole. It's uh, four square millimeters. But anyway, in this video where we will go a little slower, then uh, let's look what's inside. So um, this was uh, the first version. Let's uh, look on another one I have. This one just splits a single connection. Here I split into three connections. And I made it a little more interesting because uh, what I actually have is a free phase uh, cable here. So if you know in a free phase system you have earth or ground, then you have neutral and then the free phases. So let's look inside this extremely compact box. I am uh, quite proud on how compact it is. Yeah, and let's just before I open it, let's see here. So it took some force to squeeze it in here. Uh, I used a vise to squeeze it. So, um, which screws should you use? Well, it depends on how much you can compress it. Because if you can uh, compress it enough, then you can uh, use uh, 10 millimeters. Otherwise, I recommend that you use 12 millimeters. Uh, they will only stick a little out if uh, it turns out that uh, they were too large. Let's see if I can open it. I actually think I need a little more. I also have one of these. <laughs> Just to a small one. So, for example, uh, you might want to use a, a 12 millimeter first screw to compress everything and then uh, replace it with a, with a 10 millimeter screw afterwards. Well, let's look inside of this uh, giant thing here. I can open it. There we go. Uh, so, we see here, I managed to compress it. Uh, and here we have the, the free. Inside of here, let's look. Mm. Yes, very nice. So of course, uh, what you have here is that the neutral and ground is shared between the three faces. And it's actually very, very important that this connection does not break uh, because otherwise you have a floating neutral, which, uh, well, it, burns and uh, brake system, burn down houses and such. So it's it's something that's really important to make a proper connection for. Uh, so uh, let's uh, just uh, break everything out. But that's the great thing about the 221 uh, uh, connector system. We can actually see if I assembled all this uh, proper. So uh, let's look on the other side, right here. So uh, let me just zoom in. So uh, right here we can uh, see the metal here. It's all the way connected. And the same with the ground. So very good. There's uh, quite a few different versions of the this 3D print. So they are for two wires. And for that, you can either have one in both sides, one connection in, or two in both sides, or a combination of one and two. And that's basically the same for the, the free wire and the four wire version. You saw the free wire version here. It's either in one, two, or one, one, or two, two. And the same with the four wires. Uh, the four wires, because it's a little longer then it's more secured with, with more screws so you see here there's only one screw but it is strong enough as long as the cable is thick enough 
uh, six to seven millimeters is preferable. If it's smaller than that, then it, uh, you should look into my older versions. And then, of course, there's the five version, the five uh, wire version, and it's actually in six different uh, edition. There's uh, one one, one two, one three, two three, and two two, and three three. So quite a few combinations to to make some assembly there. Um, but the, you see here, there's only solid wires in this side here, and here in the other in the stranded. So definitely with three wires, I don't think you can go greater than um, than 0 0.75 millimeters. Um, there's simply not enough room inside of it. Uh, if you're just splitting the connection, you might get away with uh, with one millimeter uh, wires, uh, two times uh, one millimeter wires. It seems like uh, the combined four square millimeter wire that's uh, not possible because as you twist it, then it becomes a little thicker. But uh, that's definitely up to you um, how much you want to push it. I would uh, stay safe and uh, and probably not go above a uh, combined uh, three millimeter squared uh, wire. Yes, that is all. Uh, link in the description uh, where you can get this uh, 3D print. Bye bye.